tell me about yourself? Possibly the worst question you can get in a law firm interview or any interview for that matter, because it sounds so basic and straightforward, but it's really crazy and confusing as to what to include and not include and what to focus on. And is the interviewer looking for a specific piece of information or not? And so if you guys are headed into law firm interviews, we are going to break down my favorite three part formula for answering this question so that you feel really calm and confident heading into these interviews and you can rinse and repeat this answer for every single law firm interview you have throughout all of law school. So if that is you, before we start, be sure to download my free best questions to ask in law firm interviews guide. It is 100% the list of questions that I would always ask in law firm interviews that turned any sort of formal or stuffy interview into a wonderful conversation that really left the interviewer loving me and wanting more. And so now I want that for you guys as well. I'll include the link in the description below. And be sure to stay to the end of this video because I will include some tweaks to the answer structure we'll talk through depending on whether you went straight through from undergrad to law school, whether you took a couple of gap years off in the middle, or whether you're coming to law school from a completely separate career. So if you're excited to dive in, smash that like button and let's go. So for this first part of answering the tell me about yourself question, I like to use either a childhood experience or an early adolescent experience to kind of humanize you and set the stage. So that could be something like when I was a kid, I grew up around lawyers. And so talking about law school and talking about the legal industry was always a topic of conversation at our family reunions or around the table or anytime I hung out with my cousin. Or if you didn't grow up around lawyers or sort of law school wasn't in your sort of purview at all, you could use that as sort of your childhood experience that law school wasn't on the radar for me at all when I was a kid. And it wasn't until high school that I even got introduced to the idea of law school. It could also be an early adolescent experience like being on the speech and debate team in high school or having your first sort of mock interview with a lawyer as a school assignment. So anything that sort of can set that stage for when was the first time you heard about law school or heard about being a lawyer and kind of how is that human element part of your narrative? For the second part of your answer to this question, I really like to tap into sort of the college phase of your life. So usually that means what you majored in. It can also be maybe an extracurricular or a conversation you had with a career counselor or something like that in college. And it could be that the thing you majored in or the experience you had sort of set you up or, or sort of tailored itself to you wanting to pursue law school, right? If you majored in political science or you majored in philosophy or English or something like that, that could have convinced you that law school was the route for you, or you could have had the opposite experience where you were majoring in something like electrical engineering or pre-med. And you realized as you went down that path that that 100% was not for you. And then you were looking for something else that was sort of complex and challenging in a different way. For the third part to this answer, I really like to focus in on one singular professional experience that ultimately tipped the scales into getting you to apply to law school and ultimately go to law school. And if you haven't checked it out yet, definitely watch the why did you go to law school interview question and how to answer it because we're going directly to pull from how we're going to craft that answer into this one. But basically what we're looking for in this third piece to the tell me about yourself question is this professional experience. So in bucket one, if you have a professional experience around lawyers, that would be ideal, right? So if you worked with lawyers around lawyers, near lawyers, you can credibly talk about that work and how you participated in it and how that led you to become interested in pursuing law. Eventually, if you don't have that experience and not all of us do, that's totally fine. We'll go to bucket number two, which is a professional experience just in a non-legal context. And then in that experience, we're going to talk about the skills and the different strengths that you developed in that role and how that then translates into a legal context, because there's a lot of skills that overlap in other industries that law firms love and law firms look for. If you don't have a professional experience in a non-legal context that you're particularly fond of or just really jazzed by, then we can move on to bucket number three, which is any conversations that you've had with lawyers, whether that's lawyers in your family, a professor who might have been a lawyer or just cold reach outs on LinkedIn. And we're going to reference those conversations as a way for you to communicate that you know what lawyers do and you know what skill sets are a value add. And then later in the interview, we can really hype you up in terms of explaining how you have those skills and qualifications as well. 
So when we put those three pieces together in our answer to tell me about yourself, here's an example of how that could look. So Angela, tell me about yourself. Well, when I was growing up, there weren't any lawyers in my family, so I really didn't have any context for law school, and it really wasn't on my radar until I got to college and that first conversation I had with my career counselor at the time, she recommended that I apply for an internship at the Texas legislature because I was a political science major. So I went ahead and applied and wound up interviewing with a Texas House of Representative and a Texas Senator, and for the next four years of college, I loved this work so much that I continued to intern and ultimately work for a representative and then a senator. And in that role, we were drafting public policy documents, we were drafting legislation, we were drafting sort of committee notes and hearings, working with constituents. And I realized that the skill set that I was developing was really, really in line with what I was hearing other lawyers talk about as being something that was really, really strong for their work as well. Things like solving creative problems with solutions and advocating for people who you're representing and absolutely becoming really skilled at juggling a lot of needs all at once and prioritizing those and really being able to do all of this with a calm head. And so that's when I realized that I think that pursuing law school would be a really good fit. And I am so happy to report that that was absolutely the case. And I've loved my first year of law school or my second year of law school. And I'm so excited to continue on this career path. So that's the three part framework that I encourage you guys to use as a foundation for this answer. But as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, some of you guys may have had gap years in between college and law school. And some of you guys might have had an entire career before law school. So if that's you, you likely will not have to go as far back in time in terms of talking about your childhood experience or an early adolescent experience, or maybe even a college experience. If you have three concrete experiences from a professional lens, then definitely use those because the closer that we can get to actually working with lawyers or being around lawyers or having conversations or relationships with lawyers, those are going to be the most compelling and the most powerful because they'll show that you know exactly what goes on in a law firm, exactly what lawyers do and how what you're bringing to the table is going to add value to that firm and to that team. And so whichever experiences you pick, I encourage you guys to use three. They tend to be a really, really great foundation for a concrete narrative that's common compact and really compelling without sort of going off the rails and talking about your entire life story for 40 minutes. And having these three concrete pieces is not only easy for the listener to follow, it allows you to kind of zero in on what it is you want to focus on, the skills that you want to highlight, and sort of the interest and passion that you want to show the interviewer that you have about this. So. For those of you guys who are in it right now, definitely be sure to check out this playlist of the other questions that law firms love to ask and my favorite ways to answer them. And if you guys have any questions or just want to share how the interview process is going, definitely drop it in the comments below. I love to see those questions and comments and I'll definitely get back to you guys ASAP. And with that guys, I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.